to welcome back guys so today i'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to uh, transfer your brand new samsung j7 you will apply to all your j7 either the new and latest uh, crown or other uh, model that's uh, compatible with uh, all other major uh, carriers out there i know verizon uh, Simple wireless, total wireless, uh, AT&T, that uh, unlock model and everything, but uh, basically it's the same uh, method. All right, so first of all, you need to go to your uh, setting. You wanna click on uh, setting. And you want to go ahead and then uh, click on about uh, phone. Software information. Then you want to go ahead and uh, keep on clicking the build number right there. You're going to keep on pressing it. All right. If you have a PIN number or password, then you need to enter it. So I'm going to enter my uh, 1234. All right, developer mode has been turned on. Then now you're going to go back. Go back one more time. And then under the software update over here, Below the about phone, you should have a develop, uh, developer options right there. Go click on it. And you want to scroll down until you see a USB debugging right there and make sure you turn that on. And then uh, press OK. So now it should allow you to uh, your MacBook or your uh, window PC or laptop or MacBook Air whatever that you have notebook and laptop and stuff like that now you could uh, hook up your data cable but be sure to download an uh, Android file transfer file uh, in order to sync it okay all right you two so uh, I'm gonna show you guys on how to uh, download the Android file transfer uh, software real quick So just go search it under uh, Google and then uh, just click on right here https colons colons I mean colon slash slash www.android.com slash file transfer make sure you got down this uh, website don't go to the wrong one and you just need to go ahead and then uh, click on download and it says uh, support Mac OS 10.7 and higher. And here's the instruction on how to uh, use it. Download the app, open Android file transfer DMG, uh, drag the Android file transfer to application, use the USB cable that came with your Android device and connect it to your PC, uh, your Mac. Either your iMac, your MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, MacBook Mini. And then uh, double click Android file transfer. Browse the file and folder on your Android device and copy files. And then you can click on here for more information. So let's go and then uh, click on download. So it uh, should be downloading right now. So once it finished download, it should automatically uh, give you like a pop-up unless you need to go to uh, find your file under your download folder. So you can see it's already download already the DMG uh, files right here. Just uh, double click it. And then it's doing its thing right now. Okay. So you're gonna need to follow the instruction. You drag this uh, Android to the folder or applications. So since I done that already, uh, I'll I'll here replace it then. 
and then uh, after that you double click the Android file transfer right here and now it's opening up the program so in case you have uh, some kind of privacy security that you need to unlock you need to go to your setting and then uh, unlock your paddle lock on the, your uh, setting in order for you to uh, open this file so i'm just going to click on open well since my uh, phone is not connected on this computer right now so you show no android device found and that's how you download the software all right so let's go ahead and then uh go back up I'm going to connect this uh, short data cable. I'm not sh I'm sure it's going to work or not. If it doesn't work, then that means the data cable is not, not good or compatible uh, with your phone. So if you plug it in and then your phone does not read, uh, I mean the computer does not read your phone you want to go ahead and then open that file enjoy file transfer if you don't have that go ahead and then uh, google search and download that software so it says uh, no android device uh, found so that means the data cable is not compatible with this phone okay so lucky i have uh, another cable Then I'm going to plug into my MacBook Air and then I'm going to plug it in right now and see. So I got a vibration that means uh, you should uh, read it. Let me close the Enjoy. Sometimes you gotta plug and unplug a USB data cable and try to let it read. So there you go. So be sure to allow access to your phone data and then click on allow on your phone. And then I press OK on your computer. So now it gives you uh, all this uh, folder that you could uh, transfer your picture, your videos, whatever you have. And I have the AZ recorder, uh, on-screen recorder. There's a ringing tone, pictures or whatever, notification, a whole bunch of over here, and music or movies. So I'm gonna, normally your picture that you take from uh, your phone, your smartphone will be under DCIM. You're gonna double click that. And if you have a screenshot file, it will be over here. Let me zoom in. All right. There's a Bixby uh, vision or camera or screenshot. So I took a screenshot last time. You could only drag and copy. You cannot open it on your uh, from here okay so make sure you copy to uh, your directory you have my YouTube video so I'm gonna go to my camera and sometimes if uh, it takes a long time for it to upload your files that means you have too many files so it will take longer time to uh, process so don't worry, just uh, let it plug in and then it will should automatically uh, read your files. So I'm going to drag those uh, two videos that I need. And then I'm going to click on shift and then the mouse and then uh, drag it to my YouTube video. So those are the software, I mean the files that I need to do my video on. So. Because uh, I will experience the problem that how come it's not allowing me to transfer the file. So that's why I'm making this video for you guys. Since I got my uh, new uh, J7 oh. 
my bad. I got the wrong box. Uh, that's the LG Expression Plus. Uh, this is the J7 uh, Crown. Okay, Samsung. And then that's it. So the file has been transferred and everything. And then uh, if you guys want to see the clip uh, real quick, I could play it real quick. And then that means the files. There you go. I'm gonna put mute. Uh. Hey, you two, welcome back, guys. So, uh, just uh, testing this uh, Samsung J7 crown to test out the video quality on this and then the audio. So, as you can see. Alright, hopefully, you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like this video, and hopefully, this will resolve your file transferring video files uh, pictures whatever files that you could pull out from your uh, samsung j7 smartphone all right please uh, share this with your friend family on social media if they are having experience the same problem or don't know how to transfer file back and forth please uh, share this with them thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video like always peace